Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to Democracy. Democracy 4 to be exact. This is a sponsored video, the people behind Democracy 4 are paying me to show the game to you. But I gotta say, I am very, very positively surprised by this game. See, it doesn't really have a map or anything like that, so I probably wouldn't pick it up if I just saw it on the Steam store. Just being honest here. But when I started playing this, when they approached me, this is actually a very deep and interesting game. That's right up my alley. So I urge you to um, stay and watch and get to know it. Not just because they're paying me to show it to you. I'm getting paid either way. But I would really like to show you the depth of the simulation. And the game is out now. So if it looks like something you would enjoy, make sure to follow the link in the video description and check out the game. And remember that doing so helps out the channel. Right, without further ado, let's get going, shall we? What is democracy? It is a politician simulator. Let's get going. At first you pick a country. We got the United States, UK, Japan, France, Canada, Australia, Spain, Germany, Italy and South Korea. I have decided to play as Germany. Because the German government has annoyed me recently, so I'm going to take their country and fix it. I'm gonna keep everything on default and I'd like three political parties. You can adjust the sliders to your liking, for example erase all your debt, but we're not gonna do that. Also, the party names are just wonderful. Let's go. We are the new Chancellor of Germany and my aim is to be Chancellor for life. Our people are healthy and well educated, there is a little poverty, but there is a lot of crime, we'll have to deal with that. But let's explain that as we go, shall we? This is our main screen, our political map, so to say. This is our political power, political capital. These are the ministers that help me govern. The green ones are loyal. And these circles here represent policies. And the circles on the outskirts represent various modifiers we have and problems. For example, this here means a lot of our people are abusing alcohol. Poor alcohol. So, you're probably curious how the German government annoyed me recently. Well, you might know that I actually have a master's degree in power engineering. I mentioned it once or twice on the channel. And imagine that the German government, clearly run by absolutely incompetent people, is decommissioning, and that's a real thing, functional, clean, safe nuclear power plants. Probably under pressure from misinformed people that think it isn't safe or clean. Well, it's the cleanest. It's the cleanest form of energy and it's uh, very, very safe. And I know what I'm talking about. I spent years studying this. So I'm gonna fix Germany. That and other things. But I'm getting ahead of myself. What is the goal of the game? Well, just like in real life, we are playing as the politician. We're the chancellor. So what is our number one goal? Well, our number one goal is to be re-elected. Right now we would only get 7% of the vote. We got to improve that. And the simulation is very deep. Let me show you something. For example, alcohol abuse. Increases crime, decreases health. It's increased by, say, poverty. And poverty is increased by taxes. And and decreased by good education, increased by unemployment. And unemployment is affected by lots and lots of factors. So this is a very, very complex simulation that you have to find your way around. So we want to secure re-election. There are two main ways to do it. Make the people love me or become a dictator, which is also possible. But I've chosen to make the people love me because then we don't really have to worry about assassinations, which are also a thing. We are two trillion euros in debt probably fix that. Let's start by fixing our budget. We get income from various taxes. I'm not gonna increase them. Increasing taxes damages your economy. Instead we're gonna cut expenditure. I'm gonna be pretty ruthless on this. We're spending the most on state pensions. We're going to have to reduce them. Our pensioners will no longer be super wealthy and the people will approve of us a little less. But well we have to fix the budget so let's do that. We have an election every four years. Each turn takes three months so we have 16 turns. Let's end the turn. We have a budget deficit, but it is going down. I need to reduce crime. Stop and search. See, this is an event. I can give more powers to the police. Um, let's not do that. And the liberal voters like me more because I didn't do that. Let's continue reducing expenditure. State pensions, low. They're gonna be poor temporarily, but a politician has to be ruthless. And that's all the political capital I can spend for now. Violent video games. Um, I suppose I could censor video games to appeal to people scared of video games or not do anything. I suppose I'll just add warning labels. Doesn't cost me much, doesn't disturb the industry and parents will like me. And every decision is like this. You have to consider if it will benefit your country and if it will benefit your re-election possibilities. Poverty is increasing a bit because I reduced pensions. Um, we'll deal with that and Straight off the bat, we already have a budget surplus. We also have two trillion in debt, so we're gonna have to do a little bit more 
to get out of that. And is it possible to get out of debt? Yes, yes, it actually is possible. Countries don't do that because spending money is easy and makes people like you. But there are three main ways to get out of debt as a country. You can reduce expenditure, like I'm doing. You can print more money, effectively eroding the savings of the middle class with inflation and thus devaluing your debt, making it less of a debt. I don't think I have that option here. And finally, you can declare bankruptcy, which is not very good for your stability. So we'll just cut expenditure. It's easier. Now I should probably deal with alcohol abuse. And from this map, you can handily see what increases and decreases it. Alcohol consumption is the main factor. And as you can see here, I can use an alcohol awareness campaign, essentially some propaganda, to make people consume less alcohol. Let's do that. Still have a lot of political capital. Let's get some more money. Now, state pensions, I guess we could go as low as here, but that's essentially as low as I'm willing to go. Don't want a huge increase in poverty to happen. So this will do. And you can rest easy pensioners. That is enough for now. What's next? State schools, we need that. Healthcare vouchers. Encourage the growth of private healthcare. I don't really want to encourage the growth of private healthcare. Why would I? I'll do good state healthcare. Let's just cancel this outright. 20 billion per quarter. No more healthcare vouchers. Just use it with your own money or go to state-owned hospitals. That's it for this turn. Not sure if you've noticed those little tech bits here, like complicating the tax system or giving jobs to family members. Oh, good. Credit rating upgraded. Our budget is finally good. And people like me. Not sure if it is the natural increase in trust or the fact that I took money from the, the pensioners. Still, now as you can see, we have 216 billion of income every quarter and just 176 billion expenditure. We are paying off our debt, which will further increase our income because debt interest is also a factor. Child benefits, we probably need that. Military spending, let's um, decrease that. Let's do reservists. More money. Not that important in today's world, I guess. Well, it can be important. Depends where you're located. Germany is not next to any of the more aggressive countries. So it should be fine. Next turn, please. Diesel emissions scandal. Oh yeah, I know that one. Companies have been lying about diesel emissions. Well, let's imprison whoever is responsible. As you can see, the capitalists don't like it. And businesses don't like it. But environmentalists and foreign relations have improved. Good. Also, justice. Poor report. Not so great, but don't worry, we'll make it better. I can always lower taxes a little bit and everyone will love me. Okay, we already have a surplus in our budget. Don't really have to focus on cutting expenditure that much. We will still do it. Now it's time to deal with the alcohol crisis. Let's fund our police a bit more. Get all the body cameras for them and give maximum funding to the police force. It's not that much money compared to what we just uh, unlocked with cutting pensions and military spending and private healthcare. So we can afford to do that easily. Alcohol law, min minimum age 16. Is that really it in Germany? Hmm. Let's raise that to 18. Let's not do anything stupid like 21 in the US where you can where you can join the army but can't have a beer at 18. Let's just do 18 all across the board. That'll be fine. And that's it for this quarter. We have a possible problem of tax evasion. Not a big deal. And the hostage situation. Essentially, we've got some terrorists with hostages wanting to influence our foreign policy. We can give in to them or just send in the police. Well, I'm going to promise to honor their demands and then I'm going to betray them. Yeah, a strong leader has decreased. This is a leader perception thing. The people don't see me as a strong leader. Not a problem. I'm not as threatening to them this way. Now it's time to deal with my pet peeve. Nuclear fission decommission existing. This is absolutely idiotic. Absolutely stupid. And if you believe nuclear energy is bad for the environment, uh, you should probably acquire some more information regarding that, because it is the cleanest we have, up until we do fusion. But yes, it is also cleaner than renewable energy sources, because of the initial investment, impact on the environment and costs and all that. But uh, this is not a video about energy alone. Yes, let's give subsidies to nuclear energy. Gonna reduce CO2 emissions, reduce oil demand, increase a gross domestic product, and piss off the environmentalists, but they're not very smart if they think energy from nuclear fission is bad. Got nothing against the environmentalists. Like opposing, you know, old cars generating lots of stinky smoke is not a bad thing, but nuclear energy is not that. So yay for nuclear. Next turn. They don't see me as a strong leader. I could try and launch a propaganda campaign, but those can backfire quite easily. So let's just leave it be, I guess. Foreign neighbor nuclear missile test. Yeah. Could be a problem. 
A neighboring isolationist nation has tested a missile in its nuclear program near our border. I don't think Germany has any neighboring isolationist nations. So we're not going to worry about that. Situation imminent. Obesity is growing. Don't worry, we can deal with that. Let's promote cycling. Cycling, yes, cycling campaign. Here we go. There it is. Promote cycling more. We can also give bicycle subsidies to our people. Let's do that. Reduce obesity, get more health. Also, reduce traffic congestion. This minister is disloyal. We'll need to replace him. My popularity is growing. What else can we cut in expenditure? Electric car initiative. Do we care? Not really. Let's not subsidize electric cars. Just if people want electric cars, they can buy electric cars. Cancel. Also, I should reshuffle the cabinet before the ministers leave me. This way I will not be seen as weak for them leaving. And they do leave if you do stuff against the interests of their voter groups. I'm going to reshuffle the cabinet. You can fire them and then hire them again. So this guy is loyal and she is loyal. Let's reshuffle the cabinet and fire everyone who's not perfectly loyal to me. And we can now get someone better. Ministers have three main stats. Loyalty, experience and campaigning. Campaigning is important for, for elections. Loyalty for getting political capital and experience for being effective. So for example, for the job of the welfare minister, we have two good candidates, Ewald and Elsa. Let's leave that for later then. Economy. Henning. Wonderful. Taxes. Annika or Julia. Julia is a bit more loyal, but Annika will work better in the campaign and experience. Public service. Elsa. Which means Ewald goes to welfare. And for transport, we'll get Olaf. He'll be useful in the election. Julia is also a good choice here. And that's it. Government has been reshuffled. Corporate medical marketing. Oh yeah, that's bribing doctors to prescribe medicine. Yes, regulations, please. We got obesity and environmental protests. I'm working on it. We can implement new policies other than the ones already here. Let's get a telecommuting initiative. Where is that? Here. We'll pay some money for propaganda to encourage people to stay home and not drive to work. They'll also increase productivity and in turn our gross domestic product. Yay, maximum on that. The reduced car usage will reduce pollution and in turn boost health and environment. I found that propaganda is very effective. Let's see what campaigns we have. Healthy eating campaign. Here it is. Let's boost it. Very small cost. Good results. That will reduce obesity a bit. And that's how it is. You have to tackle things slightly, nudge them, increase and decrease stuff a little bit to nudge the country in the direction you want it to go. Let's have another look at our budget. Do we want to be doing foreign aid? It increases foreign relations and makes us look compassionate. I don't think it's worth it, at least not at this level of expenditure. The voters do like it though, so let's just reduce it a bit. Social care is low, that's fine. I'm going to reduce military spending to the minimum. Gridlock, yeah. That's a bit of an issue, but I am encouraging bicycles. Well, that should do it. And the telecommuting initiative as well. We just have to wait for it a little bit. As you can see, it's already going down. Major Donna Abandits Party. Unfortunate, but not a real problem. Public right of way, essentially that people can walk on your land. Uh, no, I have some land, not a lot, very little. I don't want other people walking on it without my permission. And we're already popular enough to win the next election. And we haven't even started campaigning yet. Going well. I need to tackle organized crime and alcohol abuse more because they are draining my resources a little bit. Let's arm the police more and introduce stricter control on firearms. That will reduce crime. Spreading fake news. Spouse scandal. That's actually a really bad random event. Might cause some serious problems for the election. And I'm being seen as a weak leader. Let's see our approval. Yeah, not that great, but we're still going to have some campaign speeches. Soon it will be fine. Prison funding. State-of-the-art prisons, please. That will reduce crime further. And reduce prison overcrowding. Disability benefits. Um, They're high. We want to go low. No, that's not very nice. We'll go to medium. Medium will still be fine for the people, but we won't be spending that much money. And since we're introducing telecommuting and bicycles and stuff like that, let's reduce road building a bit. Just look at that debt decreasing. When we go to zero, we will no longer have to pay debt interest. Positive discrimination. Quotas for employment. Oh, that's gonna to complicate stuff and decrease our GDP. No, positive discrimination is still discrimination. No discrimination, please. And we no longer have gridlock. Wonderful news. Crime's going down. 
Let's increase the freedom of the press to the maximum. That's gonna make everyone like me a bit more, I think. The election is nearing, we have to worry about people's perception of us. Alright, how else are we gonna reduce crime? Oh, legalized sex work. Yes, let's maximize the legalization of sex work to reduce organized crime. After all, they're not gonna earn money on sex work if it's completely illegal. It's gonna happen anyway. Prison overcrowding? No longer a problem. Nuclear test ban? Hmm. Do we want to agree to ban nuclear weapon testing? That's a difficult one, because we might want to develop nuclear weapons later to seem stronger. But for now, let's sign the treaty. We can always cancel that later. Foreign relations up. Our budget is in great shape. And our approval as well. Seems like we're doing good. See, people are actually appreciating us lowering the debt and reducing crime. Crime has gone down significantly. Let's also boost our intelligence services. Reduce internet crime and organized crime completely. Also legalize cannabis for adults. All these things I'm doing are decreasing organized crime, because if pot is legal, they can't earn money selling pot. Election report. The opposition party is losing people. Nice. Clean energy subsidies. I'm going to reduce it. I'm not going to cancel this completely because they do help with oil demand and the environment a little bit. So let's keep them at the minimum. Do we have unemployment benefits? Yes, we do. Let's keep them low to encourage people to work. Not minimum. That's not very humanitarian. Just low. Reducing it too far will increase poverty. Let's uh, just drop them to medium, reduce the expenditure and encourage people to find work while still letting them survive if they don't. Okay, GMOs, that is actually not such a clear issue because technically the regular wheat we're using is a genetically modified organism because selective breeding of that crop is actually genetic modification over time. However, you can also create crops that are resistant to pesticides, which means you can load them full of pesticides and then people will eat those pesticides. I guess we'll placate the environmentalists a little bit, so let's ban the GMOs. Yeah, capitalists don't like it very much, GDP has reduced, which is a problem, and we're nearing an election. Campaign speech. This is actually pretty simple to navigate. You have options, you can select up to four, I think, let's see, yeah, up to four, and each soundbite you add will please someone and displease someone. The most important thing to look at here is membership of these groups. For example, socialists and capitalists are more or less equal. So let's not upset either of them. Retired, 23%, youth, 22 Again, similar. But here, ah, liberal, 83%, conservative, 17%. We won't lose much by upsetting the conservatives, but we will gain a lot by promising stuff to the liberals. So let's do that. Poor, 47. Rich, 5. Definitely. Appeal to the poor, always. And environmentalists and no downside. Oh, definitely picking that one. We're going to upset the self-employed a bit, but let's appeal to the trade unionists. And that's it for our speech. And they seem to like it. We are now very popular. There's gonna be no trouble getting re-elected. Don't even need to do propaganda campaigns. What you can do, I can do a media stunt to seem like a strong leader. But I don't have to. Let's not waste our time doing that. Will the conservatives vote for me? Almost, actually. 49% approval. I might get their vote as well if I appeal to them a little bit. All right, what do they like? Transitions. Um, let's do doctor agreement plus age limit. They're gonna like that. Liberals love me anyway. If I can appeal to the conservatives as well, I might get votes from both groups. Next. More campaign speeches. The same thing again. Okay, so let's work on the conservatives a bit more. Uh, life threatened here. That should equalize liberal and conservative approval more or less. And then I'll appeal to the Liberals in other ways, thus getting both votes, hopefully. Organized crime has been eliminated. Conservatives are 49% happy, Liberals are 51% happy. Let's see our popularity. We're very popular. We also have manifesto promises available. Essentially, I can promise to do stuff, and when I do it, people will like me more. Let's pick something that's easy to do. Secularity of education, that's easy to do. Religious, we don't really care about religious voters. There's not that much of it in Germany, but liberals like me more. Wonderful, we'll do that one. Mm, income tax, we could cut income tax, but we're still in debt and working on paying it off. I'm not going to cut term limit or armed police force. ID cards, do we care? I don't really want to change that because doing so will increase crime. GDP, good one but difficult to raise. Border controls, oh, that's easy to do. We'll just increase some immigration, but we don't really care. So yeah, let's cut border controls a bit. Once again, liberal vote is on our side for this. What else could we do? We could try to increase GDP. It'll be difficult, but we can try it. And I crashed the game. 
Fortunately, it auto saves all the time. I have to do the speeches again. And the manifesto, where was I? Yeah, circularity, border controls. And I guess I can pledge to increase GDP. Capitalists like it. Nice. I guess I can start working on increasing the GDP. Essentially, science and education increase it, taxes decrease it. Gambling? That's an interesting option. I could allow more gambling. Sure, I guess. And election, here we come. We should do very well. But let's start the count. We had very little campaign spending. But there's a huge amount of approval, so it should be fine. Start the count. Ooh. I was concerned for a moment. But it looks very good for us. That's an overwhelming majority. Do we want to reshuffle the government? And they all got more loyal with this, so I don't think I need to. And they also gained more experience, so let's not reshuffle anything. Internet crime, not a problem anymore. Whistleblower. Secret service has leaked stuff. Well, let's reform, people will like that. Foreign relations like that a lot. Don't have that many patriots, so we don't really need to worry about that. Let's have a look at our expenditure. State rail company is taking up a lot. Let's reduce the spending on that. Still keep it, but reduce the spending. Prisoner voting. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. Yes, sure, they can all get their votes and stuff. People should like that. Oh, I know those. Those are predatory. Yeah, that's bad. Don't use those loans. It's like shooting yourself. My parents always taught me to not take loans or credit on anything. Just don't buy things you can't afford. And yeah, the only loan I've ever taken was to get the house. I gave people less money, cat expenditure, and they can love me. Let's make them love me more. Judicial independence will reduce corruption. There's no executive term limit, so we can rule forever. However, there's the term length. I could increase that to have elections less frequently, but increasing it costs a lot of political capital. Just five or six years will be fine. Now let's have a look at our manifesto and try to actually fulfill those promises. Oh, interesting. The party donor demands that we implement a policy. Which one? CO2 campaign. Oh, the campaigns are actually pretty good usually. Yeah, sure, let's implement the one she wants. It'll reduce car usage. Maximum spending. Propaganda is really effective. Also, where was I? Secularity of education. Maximize atheist schools. The religious community doesn't like us very much, so let's make sure there is less of them. That will fulfill our promise. Next. We predict we would get 89% of the vote in the next election. They love me. They really love me. What's next on our promises list? Border controls. Cut by 50%. Sure. Let's make sure we fulfill the promise. People don't like it anyway. And now all we have left to do is increase the GDP. Yes, I'm actually gonna keep my campaign promises. Weird, right? Selective schooling. What's that? Oh no. Don't segregate the students. That's stupid. Reduce it a bit. And next turn, please. Yeah, we're going the full democracy route, so we're going to support democracy protesters abroad. In order to increase our GDP, I'm going to maximize school funding. Because good education means better workers. We have a nice surplus in the budget, we can afford to do it. Tourism ad campaign, sure. All of those campaigns are very cheap and have nice effects. So I should probably implement all that are available. Leaving the, this looks serious. Leaving the union referendum. That's pretty bad. That's Brexit essentially. Can I reverse that? Could actually increase taxes. We're so popular. They're gonna vote for me anyway, even if I do that. But we have such a surplus in our budget, paying the debt off so nicely that I don't need to. Increasing the taxes damages your economy. I suppose I could introduce some new taxes to discourage stuff I don't want my people to use, like alcohol or tobacco. Let's have a look. Oh, it will increase poverty, really? So in that case, let's not do it. Also, there's a lot of policy you can implement. For example, if we go to transport, you can ban women from driving if you want to. Conservatives would like that. <laughs> let's not. Oh, you can also ban divorce, introduce some torture and stuff like that. Probably not the best choice. Oh, drug enforcement agency. Those don't take much, but they increase the living situation immensely. Let's uh, maximize legal aid. What else do we want to introduce? Tobacco awareness campaign. Yes, definitely implement that to the maximum. Anything else? Food stamps. Mm, could be. It would decrease poverty, but it is expensive. I'll wait until the debt is paid off. What else do we have here? Gentle mutilation ban. Uh, yeah, that's like circumcisions, right? Um, let's ban that. Imprisonment. I want to implement a lot of those small policies that people will like and which are pretty cheap, like Young Entrepreneur Scheme. Enough for this turn. Gender neutral restrooms. Uh, I don't know. Let's just leave things as are. Oh, the liberals don't like that. And the youth doesn't like that a lot. I guess I could have gone the other way on this. Doesn't really matter. Those things are minor if you have so much support. 
How about citizenship for sale? Yeah, it's gonna bring us money. People are gonna like it. Increases GDP, sure. Citizenship for sale it is. Middle class, that's fine. Just give me money. Next up, illegal immigration amnesty. Well, I do have an illegal immigration crisis. Sure, let's do amnesty. As long as they pay taxes, they're welcome. Just pay taxes. Oh, it increased illegal immigration. I thought it would decrease illegal immigration and increase legal immigration by balancing the people who are already here. But actually what it did, it encouraged more illegal immigrants to come into the country. So probably not a good move. Debt is being paid off. Nice. GDP is not great though. Let's see how we can increase productivity. Okay, minimum wage is actually impacting productivity. Let's lower that. Oh, people don't like it anyway. I can just cancel the policy altogether. Although it does reduce poverty. Let's keep it, just lower it. GDP is probably one of the most difficult things to increase. Very susceptible to random events as well. I'm not sure I'll be able to keep it, the promise. I guess I can increase it significantly by increasing science funding. So let's do that. Schools are maxed out. Good. Let's reduce crime and corruption a little bit. Wiretapping with police chief consent. Ooh. A scandal. <laughs> Should have kept her mouth shut. Eh, hey, well, it's fine. They still love me. Right, how's the GDP? Did it increase? Slightly. It takes time. Let's make the prison regime gentler. That will increase education and in turn increase GDP. We're fine on crime, so this is not a problem. And next, hackers breach critical systems. Well, if they know how to breach it, they know how to secure them. Let's hire the hackers. Crime is non-existent in our country. And GDP is going up. Still some poverty un and unemployment. Should tackle that. It's time to increase our term length. Five years. We'll be fine. That gives me four more turns between elections. Any more campaigns we could do? Business startup campaign. It's not very expensive, and capitalists and self-employed would like me more. Sure, we can do that. We don't want a lot of socialism because it decreases your income. Gay adoption. Um, sure, let's support that. I don't think a child in an orphanage cares about sexual orientation of their prospective parent. They just want to be loved. So yes, let's support that. Parents like it. Good. Religious are not a problem because there's very few of them. There's 13% religious people in our country. And it's going down due to education. Actually, I could increase the term length to six years easily. Nobody would fault me for this, really. I probably should. Just gonna need some more political capital for that. Oh, International Fusion Research Project. That's very expensive. Fusion is a wonderful source of energy. Sadly, we haven't mastered it yet. And it's gonna be many years until we can. But I think we will, eventually. Although, can we really afford it right now? Should I wait for the debt to be cleared up? I should probably wait for the debt to be cleared up. I don't really see the appeal of a jury trial, but it is supposed to decrease corruption, so let's implement that. Next turn. Oh, nice, we have private space industry. That's going to boost GDP and help everyone be happy. Nice. Another nuclear test. That's probably due to our low military funding, but we don't really have to worry about that. 96% of the vote. I really should have been a politician, not a YouTuber. I guess I still can. I'm not that old. Although I do have some morals. Ah, one political capital point below the requirement to increase our term even further. Is corruption a real problem for us? No, so we don't need an agency for that. Should we just legalize cannabis completely? Mm, no, it will increase crime, let's not. Okay, let's go through the policies we have one by one and adjust them. CCTV cameras, do we want more of them? I don't really have crime, so I don't need more. Let's keep it. Strict control on firearms, that's fine. Max body cameras. See, the gambling laws are weird because no restrictions on gambling seems to have an overall positive effect on the country. But it doesn't have take into account poverty. It should increase poverty, I think. There are no restrictions, but I guess it doesn't really matter. GDP is increased, so let's increase limits on gambling. Rather, no limits on it. Don't gamble, people. It's bad for you. Let's boost intellectual property to the maximum, because that will increase for investment. Game, marriage, that's fine. Oh, should they be carried out in churches? I, I don't care. Let's leave this alone. Gender Discrimination Act. Positive action is just a different word for discrimination of the other. So let's bring it down a little bit to legal equality. Hospital overcrowding. I'm working on it. Banning tracking, which is a good thing for the people, will decrease our GDP. Well, no. Let's make sure the people love us first and foremost. Yeah, GDP goes down, but it's fine. Internet speed increased. If I give them fast internet, they'll love me forever. Needle exchange program. Okay, let's maximize that, because it increases health, and we have a problem with hospital overcrowding. Right to die. Hmm, I'm not gonna change that. Let's just leave it as is. 
multiple doctorate agreement and if you're interested in the topic you might want to watch a film by Terry Pratchett where he tries to. Prisoner tagging. Hmm. Okay, if we get more crime I'll just max this out. But we don't have crime right now so I don't have to. Let's max out car emission limits because that will increase the environment which in turn will increase the health and decrease hospital usage. All right, next turn. Freedom of information. Sure, let's propose the Freedom Act. Corruption going down. How's our GDP? Three turns left. Uh, I increased it, but we won't have enough time to actually hit the target. Sad, but we'll still win the election. Let's restrict smoking cars a bit. Yeah, we want to increase the environment so that our health goes up and thus hospital usage goes down. Oh, carpooling campaign. That's wonderful. Let's do that. Also, let's introduce free bus passes, which will reduce car usage very much. Just maximum for everyone. And school buses, where was that? We want bus usage maximized, because then car usage goes down, pollution goes down, health goes up. Demand from donor, what you want? Packaging tax. That's not very good for our economy. But okay, we don't want her to abandon the party. Yeah, sure. Do I force banks to stay open or let them close branches in the countryside? Banks have enough privileges. It's time they also serve our interests. Let's force them to stay open. Okay, hospital overcrowding going down a bit. It's fine. Mm, we have enough money. Let's give some bus subsidies. How are you going to debt repayment? Just one quarter of the initial debt is left. Oh, I missed that one. Diplomatic service to the maximum. Small expenditure. Better foreign relations. More investment. Welfare fraud department. Mm, maximize. Some extra income. End of life recycling law. Sure, let's pass the law. We're getting very environmentalist. Term limit, six years. Election is coming up. Everyone supports me. I suppose I could increase the GDP a bit with technology grants. Let's do that. Oh, I already failed to keep the promise. That's unfortunate. A bad event. Unfortunate. At this point, we don't really need to worry about anything. A few more turns and the debt will disappear. Let's see what other laws we can introduce. I think it's now time to introduce food stamps. As usual, I max out these policies, if I already have them. Might not be the best choice, but I want to increase health. And the expense is actually not that big for us. We definitely want to tax cryptocurrency. Medium level is fine. Baking gay cakes. Yeah, so the right to refuse service and stuff like that. Um, sure, you're free to refuse service to anyone, and then the free market will get you out of business. Health food subsidies. Sure, I'm not a fan of subsidies in general, but we do want to reduce obesity and increase health. This is good. I'm happy with this. Let's see what other propaganda campaigns we could introduce. Cyberbullying awareness campaign. Sure. And keep the country tidy. Yeah, why not? Nice. Low cost, high effectiveness. Make your people do the work for you. Yeah, the antibiotics in meat are a real problem. Let's do the ban to the maximum. What else? Ban non-LED bulbs. That's actually a known issue here. And they did that. I think the whole European Union did that. Um, I actually think normal bulbs are better for your eyes. That's at least my feeling. But they are officially banned. And then you can buy them as workshop bulbs or shock resistant bulbs or whatever. So the ban does nothing. And it also makes people's life harder. That's not... Let's introduce fuel efficiency standards. Super high. That's very bad. However, our GDP is wonderfully high. So all the moves we did finally took effect. Sadly, too late to fulfill our promises. Still, a 98 perceived vote in the next election. That's pretty high. And we have a very high democracy. Full press freedom, judicial independence and all that. So, um, yeah, they love me. There's still a small obesity problem. So let's do organic farming subsidies. I do have the money for it. Just look at the surplus. I have not increased taxes. I mean, we introduced some small tax that Donna wanted. But you can have a look. Our income has increased significantly. Largely due to education, I think. And productivity increases. Ban Sunday shopping. How did I not notice this? This is stupid. Immediately cancel the policy. Increase the food standards. We're making a nice place to live. There is a pollution problem. Hmm. The environment going down. I thought I did well by the environment. Guess I have to reduce air travel and car usage further. Single use plastic ban. Hmm. Well, it would be nice, but I don't like banning things. I guess we can tax it or something. Let's allow it, but then get a tax going, I think. I'm going to tax all the things we want to discourage, and then I'm going to lower the overall taxes so that our people don't get poor because of high taxes. Oh, campaign speech available. Of course. Let's do that. The debt has almost been paid. I guess I'll pay it before the election. Okay, I guess we need to reduce pollution. The environment will increase if we do plastic tax. GDP will go down, but it's very high anyway. Oh, religious tax. Uh, I was excited about this. 
but I misunderstood. I thought we were taxing the religious institutions, not taxing people and giving money to religious institutions. No, let's implement this one. GDP will go down, but it's fine. We can use glass bottles and stuff like that. We don't want to ban plastic, it's useful. Let's just tax it. Clean fuel subsidies, sure, I'll do that. It's Subsidies are expensive, but we'll need to increase the environment levels. And that's it for this round. Airport connection, cars or buses, of course buses, to connect to the airport. Environment going up, good. Water shortage, really? I think we can do that with a public water company. Campaign speeches, and we can make manifesto pledges. I could cut income tax, I suppose. Or property tax, which one brings more money? Property tax is 12 billion. Oh, that's way more. Although cutting income tax will help everyone. I guess I don't really need a manifesto. Let's leave it as is. I'm seen as compassionate, trustworthy, and a strong leader. Well, not really a strong leader, but compassionate, definitely. Even though I cut pensions. Let's increase pollution controls. We really need to do the environment a solid. We're facing a water shortage. I think we have to create a state water company. Compulsory water meters also can work. Sure, let's do that. Blaming the previous government, even though it was us. Demand from donor. What do you want? Synthetic meat research grants. Uh, I don't really care. Sure, whatever you want, donor. Implement policy as requested. It's not that expensive. Health is going up. Solidarity tax. What is that one? Who hate it? The wealthy hate it. Doesn't bring a lot of money, I guess I could reduce it. You know what? Let's cut taxes. Solidarity tax goes down. Wealthy like it. And income tax. Oh, I don't have political power. God damn it. <laughs> the two promise income tax going down. Oh well, not that important. I think it's the election coming up. Let's count the votes. Chancellor for life. The religious didn't vote for me. I mean, the majority of them did. Changes in the country since we were elected. Well, we made the country better, it seems. And according to that compass, I'm a capitalist liberal. Hmm. Begin next term. Do I need to reshuffle the government? They're very effective because they have high experience. I think I'll just keep them. A real estate bubble is gonna happen to us. GDP, capitalist percentage of population, rent control reduces it. Okay, I suppose we have to implement medium rent control. Medium is fine. People won't like it, but we don't want a bubble. And finally, we have a budget surplus and reserves as well. Our expenditure is very reasonable. Our income is high. I guess it's time to reform our taxes. We want to tax a bunch of stuff that's bad for you. Rather, bad for me. Diverted profit tax. Sure, let's do that. We don't want multinational tax evasion, do we? No, we don't. Let's apply a very high diverted profit tax. Cluster bomb. You can produce them if you want. Corporate exodus is not happening. Potentially bad situation bureaucracy. Increased by welfare fraud department. Okay, let's reduce that welfare fraud department. 99% approval. Let's add a congestion charge. A medium one will do fine. Just want to reduce car usage a bit. Do we even have violent crime? No. I'm going to increase clean energy subsidies and tell myself that includes nuclear energy, which is super clean. Eco home. Should we increase that too? Yep. We want environment to be in a good condition so we don't have respiratory disease. Now we promised something in the campaign. What was that? Solidarity tax to be cut. Sure. We'll just add other taxes. Besides, we have the money. Just look at our reserves. I think it's finally time to improve people's lives. Let's reduce payroll tax. Too low. Actually, this low. Let's also reduce sales tax. A bit. We can't cut the taxes completely, because we will have no income. Speaking of income, let's cut income tax a bit as well. This is going to reduce our profits hugely, but people's lives will improve massively, and our business growth should improve as well. And Welsham March. The law allows it, so I allow it. Crime has increased, no problem, we'll deal with that. No more tax evasion. Can I reach 100% approval? We have 99% votes predicted. I don't think we can get better than that, unless you rig the election, which we're not doing. Let's increase charity tax relief so that we can increase charity. Micro-generation. Sure, environment is gonna be improved. Oh, reforestation, that's gonna be good for us. Let's lower smoking, more art subsidies, adult education, definitely. Oh, but I don't have the capital. Shall we attend a gay wedding? Sure. I'm going to cancel minimum wage. We want to decrease unemployment. Now, we could continue tweaking this a little bit. Well, I think I've pretty much done what I wanted to do. We fixed Germany. 
Taxes are lowered, the environment is fine, there is no crime, poverty and unemployment are low, although my next steps would be to lower them even further, everybody's healthy, and we have no debt. Actually, we have a huge budget surplus. And reserves of gold. And everyone is happy. What's our compass? We're liberal capitalists. Okay, well, it seems to be working, doesn't it? And nuclear energy is on the forefront, as it should be. I could continue this and get elected forever. But our goal has been achieved. Now, how do you enjoy democracy? I know this is not a traditional game. You don't even have a map or units or whatever. You just make decisions and manage spreadsheets. But I actually enjoy it quite a lot, to the point where I think I might want to pursue a career in politics. I am joking, of course. I'm not a good enough liar for that. But this definitely was fun for me. Let me know what you think about the game. And if you would like to see more, because we did a very basic scenario of fixing Germany so that they love me and everyone's happy and they're using the energy they're supposed to. But you can go many different ways with this. You can try to become a dictator, flip your country around. Hell, you can make Canada a religious dictatorship where women aren't allowed to drive and you have mandatory microchips in everyone. And of course, Mars program is something we might want to do. Oh, yeah, and a lot of nukes. Or you can ruin your economy with this. Anyways, thank you for watching and do let me know if you want to see more of democracy. The game is out now. Make sure to click the link in the description below and check it out. It is different, but in my opinion, definitely worth trying. Also, if you click the link, it helps out the channel, so do that. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. New, better Germany salutes you. Goodbye.